boys and girls, I'm Amy with Yoga Me Do. Last week we challenged you to eat peas, remember? Whether they were frozen peas, or sugar snap peas, or even these really thin snow peas. It's not too late to tell me or comment on the blog about how you got to eat peas. What's your favorite way? So if you forgot, go ahead and leave a comment this week. I'm excited to hear about it. But we don't have to go too far down the vegetable aisle to come to our new vegetable of the week called zucchini. Now something really cool about zucchini is when the pilgrims came to America, the Native Americans actually considered zucchini as one of the three sisters. And besides corn and beans, zucchini grew so well in that area, they used to eat it all the time. So it's a really loved vegetable, and it's a really healthy vegetable too for a couple different reasons. Number one, it has a ton of antioxidants, right? Antioxidants are those molecules that help fight off disease and keep your cells safe. Right? They help to keep anything in the air or any kind of things that wants to hurt your cells. It helps to protect them. Antioxidants, right? The second thing that's really helpful is it actually helps your blood glucose level to stay pretty even. When you digest food, sometimes that food will turn into sugar and that sugar feeds your brain and your muscles. Well, if we have too much sugar in our system, we might get really hyper and then get really tired right after. Zucchini has something in them that actually helps to regulate your blood sugar. Instead of going in spikes up and down, it actually helps it to stay pretty even. Now, the third thing that's really fantastic about zucchini is it actually, besides 17 vitamins and minerals, a lot of the ones we've already studied, it has omega-3 fats in them, the healthiest kind of fats that you can have. Join me in the aisle and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about fats. Okay, so everybody needs fat. Our body needs fat, our brain needs fat, our muscles need fat, right? But it needs the healthy fat that helps our body to process nutrients and to be able to move and function every day. When we have bad fats, it's kind of tough on our, uh, our veins and our muscles and our heart to be able to process some of these things through our body. So let me show you a little example of some of these bad fats. So if you look at this ingredient of these lemon bars, it says up here, total fat, three grams. Well, it has saturated fat and it has trans fat. Now an example of trans fat would be something called this right down here. So these are the ingredients and we're gonna come right down here to where we see partially hydrogenated soybean and cottonseed oil. Now that's a big word, but all it means is that something in the structure of a healthy fat has been changed. Meet me in the kitchen and I'm gonna tell you how. So one example of a healthy fat is called olive oil or extra virgin olive oil. And people actually take olives, put them in a machine, and the machine presses so hard that the olive, the olive oil will come out. And that's what creates this kind of tan color. Now it's really healthy. And one thing that makes it healthy is how it works in your body, right? Um, also, another thing about olive oil is that if we were to take magnifying glasses, actually a lot of them, you'd need a really strong magnifying glass to see what I'm talking about. If we looked really, really closely at this olive oil, we might be able to see something like this, which is a fat molecule. Now, a molecule is interesting because it's just a bunch of parts put together, right? The interesting thing is the difference between a healthy fat and an unhealthy fat is how the molecule is made. Now, back in 1890, there was a man named James Boyce, and he was an American scientist. He was a chemist. He was trying to figure out how to extract oils from fat molecules so that he could make soap. Well, he figured out some neat things. About 10 years later, another chemist named Paul Sabatier, a Frenchman, built on some of the things that Boyce discovered and realized that he could change the structure of fat, right? There was a bit of a butter uh, shortage. It was hard to get butter at the time because of the war that was going on. So he decided to do some research on how to change fat to make it last a little bit longer. So what he began to do is something similar to this. He began to take these things right here called hydrogen molecules, and he began to do this, right? And he began to change the place of where the hydrogen molecules were and to change the structure of molecules. So what it would look a little bit differently. The interesting thing is when it looks differently, it acts differently too. So this molecule actually acts differently in your body. Well, at the time it was very exciting for them that they had discovered this new kind of fat. Well, in the 1960s they began to do some studies on this kind of fat. And this fat has a name and it's called partially hydrogenated soybean oil. 
right? The reason they call it that is because these hydrogen molecules have been moved. So partially hydrogenated means this fat molecule has been changed. And once it gets in your body, it can actually clog up your bloodstream, it can cause heart attacks, coronary artery disease, all sorts of different things that you can struggle with when you're older. So when we look at labels and we look at packages, make sure that you stay away from trans fats and you stay, stay and you're able to eat the healthy fats like monounsaturated or polyunsaturated. They're big words, but it's interesting to find out. So if you ever see a package that has partially hydrogenated soybean oil, not good for you. So try to stay away from those things, right? The interesting thing also is that with zucchini, the, the most healthy fats are actually found in a lot of the vitamin, or actually a lot of the vegetables that we eat. Another vegetable is avocados that have a really good fat for our bodies, okay? So this week we're actually gonna make something called zucchini cakes. Come over here and I'll show you. One of my favorite ways to eat zucchini is in these things called zucchini cakes, and they're absolutely delicious. Let me show you how to make them. So first, we're gonna take a box grater, or maybe if you have a peeler or some way to cut up your zucchini really small, cut off the ends, then take your zucchini after you've washed it and grate it. Now, it's gonna be a little bit wet because zucchini contains a lot of good, healthy water for you. Well, it's kind of hard to cook with that water, so you wanna put the zucchini in a paper towel and kind of press that water out. Once that's done, pick up the paper towel and drop it into a bowl. Now, you're gonna crack an egg, put it on top of the zucchini, add a little bit of salt and pepper and to give it a little bit of flavor. And then my favorite part, dump in a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Oh, it smells so good. Add in one cup of panko breadcrumbs. And what these are, they're actually Japanese breadcrumbs. You could try to use regular breadcrumbs if you want. Um, but uh, these breadcrumbs work really well. So there's just five ingredients. Then all you're gonna do, once you've stirred it together really well, you're gonna use your hands, put a little bit in your hand, and kind of press, press a handful of it together until you make a flat little patty. Now, once you're ready, you're gonna put a little olive oil in a pan and just place that little cake or that little patty in the olive oil. You're gonna cook it for about two or three minutes, make a couple more, and uh, let them cook for two or three minutes on each side, and then join me over here and I'll show you what they look like when they come out. Remember, boys and girls, you're in charge. So you get to decide if you want to make them big, go ahead and make bigger patties. If you want to make them smaller, make them smaller. But whatever way you decide to make them, make sure that you get to enjoy these delicious zucchini patties. I want to bring it close so you can see. When I break it open, you can actually see parts of the zucchini and the Parmesan cheese. It's absolutely delicious. And I'm going to take a bite because I can't wait. Oh! That's so good. I can taste the salt and the pepper and the egg kind of makes it fit together. And then the Parmesan cheese gives it this amazing flavor. So whatever you decide, make sure to eat zucchini this week, whether it's a zucchini cake or maybe zucchini bread, or maybe just cut it up fresh in a salad. However you like to eat zucchini, make sure to leave a comment and the principals of your school are actually going to come around with your snack this week. So if you've left a comment on the website, make sure to tell your principal, I need my healthy snack. Okay? So come join us in the other room for yoga.